I started work in 1938 uh, in James McFarlane's shirt and pyjama factory in Hillington. Hillington only opened in 1938 and it was all new factories. And I started in exactly a month before the Second World War was declared. And we made ordinary shirts and pyjamas for ordinary people, the ordinary public, for about a year and a half into the war. And then we got a contract for shirts and pyjamas for the forces. So by this time, maybe I was about 15 and a half, 16, one of the ladies suggested to some of us young ones to put a wee note in a pyjama pocket and they told us what to write. If you're single, drop a line. If you're married, never mind. And months later, some of us get letters back and we get pen pals. And I got two pen pals right away. But the lady that I worked beside, she kept her eye on so many youngsters, as she called them. She says, don't forget to tell these soldiers or sailors or whatever what age you are. And you only want to be a pen pal because you don't know what age they are. And they might not tell you. So just tell them it's only a pen friendship and that's what it is. So anyway, that went on for a, a few years. But in between times, I got some more. I got four altogether from the forces. Uh, one, of them, one of them appeared at the door one day. It was late afternoon and I was at my work and when I came in for work, here was a sailor in, in the living room. And I recognised him right away because of his photograph. And apparently his, his ship had got based in the Clyde somewhere. And he happened to mention to somebody if they knew where um, Govan was. Uh, whereabouts in Govan, my address was Chukar Hill, it was called Chukar Hill. He stopped somebody in the street and asked where did Jean Callaghan live. That was my name. So we went to the pictures and then we went for something to eat, which was very hard during the war. But it was a place in Bath Street and to me it was a posh place. It was a posh place, you know, your usual cafe. <laughs> so, um, and I met him a couple of times after that when, when he, his ship came to govern. Gradually, the letters died off, you know, as the years went on. And the rest of the pen pals that I had, <coughs> which was at one time 13 and all, I wrote letters monthly. And one of them was my brother, and one was a, the man I ended up marrying because we grew up together. That was the, that was the thing she did when you were young.